So of course a feature you know about on the Teslas or you've heard about is the full self-driving. So this particular one is set up with the latest version of like 14 point something 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 as of uh, basically December of 2025. So we're going to give her a try. So we're going to use a system called Grok as well. So what you're going to do is I'm going to press this button, hold it down. Take me to the Coles department store off of Kipling Boulevard. Navigating to Coles at 8444 South Kipling Parkway in Littleton, about eight miles away. Okay. ETA, got it, on the way to Coles. Let me know if you need anything else. So, turn the sound off so it doesn't hear me while I'm talking to you. We're good to go. Everything's in the navigation system. Looks like we're going to the right one. Let's give it a try. Start self-driving. And off we go. All right. Leaving Bandemere Speedway in Colorado, and we are headed over to Cole's department store. So let's see how she does. Now it's in hurry mode. You can kind of change the modes on it to a uh, hurry mode. Let's check here. Standard. Let's go to standard. Uh, hurry mode will speed a little bit, so it's kind of up to you what your tolerance is as far as <laughs> getting a speeding ticket. Middle, it's not going to be too big of a speeding ticket. I think the top speed is like 85 miles per hour. But anyway, let's see how it goes. So I'm not touching anything go around this corner now there's going to be an interesting intersection up here so let's see what it does all right traffic here we got a cyclist here getting ready to go okay so now this intersection can be a little bit challenging normally because people come flying out from this right side but not too much traffic today so you see the vehicles going I'm not doing anything again off we go nice Right. Yeah, making that lane change, everything looks good. Shining up on the highway. So, obviously, as you can see, it has the little thing that shows you direction, monitoring everything. It picked up those traffic lights, so those are going to be yellow. So, there are the traffic lights again. And off we go. See how the merge does. Looks good, marching over again. <laughs> okay, it's pretty shockingly good. So off we go. So we're in standard driving mode now, speed limit here is 65. We're doing right at 71, it looks like. So, there's the vehicle that just passed us. So, as you can see, it's speeding up a little bit. Nicely done. Good lane change. Let's see what it decides to do, if it wants to hop back in or if it's going to follow this Subaru. Looks like we're following. Showing about four miles till we get to Kipling, so traffic's joining up with us. See how she does. And as you can see, the display very nice. I mean, just a really nice display on this vehicle. Nice and crisp and clear. Uh, sensitivity was really good. I'll show you that in a little bit, but yeah, really nice sensitivity as far as the keypad or the uh, touch screen. So this guy just cut in front of us a little bit. No problem. Picked him right up. Okay, so now this is one thing I did notice is that if I was driving, I'd probably make the lane change to the right lane, just since no one else is around me, but the car wants to keep in this one, so let's just do the turn signal for it just to help it out and tell it to move on over. So all we did was touch the turn signal, moved over, fine and dandy. One thing, I mean, this is asking a lot, obviously, but hey, Tesla does a lot of really cool stuff. But one thing I notice is when you do have an autopilot, obviously it probably isn't seeing these potholes in the road, and we're in Colorado where we're notorious for potholes, so it will just kind of crash through the potholes. You know, a normal person, a normal driver will kind of steer off a little bit to go past them or around them, but the auto driver, the uh, autopilot, 
or an FSD will just take you right into those potholes. So, hey, something to work on in the future. Wouldn't be surprised if they work that out as well. They work everything else out pretty quickly. So like I said, I'm still not touching anything. No paddles, no nothing. Pretty cool way to see the country as well. I mean, if you're taking a scenic drive, you could look around as long as the uh, little internal camera doesn't pick you up looking away for too long, but yeah, pretty awesome. So that was completely comfortable. I had no, no issues with how it was driving there. So let's see how it handles this intersection. So we're gonna go left down here. stopping distance. I like the gap between the other cars. That's about where I would put it normally. And it's crazy how well this, it's like this whole neural network type thing. I mean, I don't even know how it works, but it's unbelievable how good it is and how much it drives like a good human driver. And I mean, I hate to say it, but people drive like crazy people nowadays. And this vehicle and this Tesla's drive so much better than the people around you. It's kind of scary how good they do. Okay. So we're going to go through this intersection, so now it's going to have to try and work out to get over to this right side, and luckily there's no other vehicles. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make this, yep, nice. Didn't cross over that, that solid line. Okay, here comes our turn in. It's going to choose the first one. That's what I would have chosen. There's another one down here, though. So let's see how it does. It's going to come on in. Making the turn. Nice. All right, let's see what it wants to do here. All right, made it through. It's an uncontrolled uh, stop sign for vehicles going both ways, but two sides are controlled and people forget that. All right, so now there's a big rock here. Let's go around this corner nice and safely. Good stop, looking, looking good. All right, making the turn. There's Coles, the store we wanted to go to. All right, let's see what it's going to do. In here and moving on and I think I didn't set the parking thing for how to park but hey we made it to the store that is unbelievably cool oh okay here we go I'm gonna make a turn here let's see where it's gonna go I don't know where we're going we're just going I'm gonna find a parking spot I think okay here we go <laughs> Okay, like I said, I'm not doing anything. Okay, that is... Okay, that's pretty darn cool. So we're not perfectly straight, but that is impressive. This is good enough, right? This is good enough. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so next one we're going to try his call. Okay, here we go. So now it says, come to me. Okay, so I'm going to press this button that says come to me, and we're going to see what it does. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so the car's way out there. So we're going to go come to me. Preparing. Reversing. Okay, so here's what it's doing as far as what the app's showing. All right, here comes the car. All right, so it's driving down. So you got to keep your button on this little thing that says, uh, come to me. If you take your button off of it, it'll stop the car immediately, which is of course a safety feature. So if you can see it over here, it's kind of creeping through traffic. Oh, here comes another car heading our way. Let's see what it's going to do. Okay. It keeps on coming. Keeps on coming. Okay. It's going to stop for that car. Let's see if that car is going to stop. Okay. It's coming around the corner. Nice. All right. Okay. That's, that's crazy. I mean, <laughs> really? That's, okay, that's kind of cool. That's, that's kind of creepy. 
It's amazing. Nice job. Thank you.